Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're going to review the new Ryzen Generation 2 2700X for mining. If you want to see a full review of this CPU for gaming, rendering performance and overclocking, please check the link above or the link below in the description. I did a full review of this CPU and benchmarking it for you guys. As you know, Monero had a hard fork and now the X3 miner that is from Antminer not useful for Monero anymore. So the only way to mine Monero is again with CPUs. That's why I decided to try out the 2700X CPU. I want to see the performance. I want to see how much money can we make. Can I make my money back and how fast? How much will electricity cost? We're going to check all those things and find answers. Let's start by installing it in my motherboard and also apply some MX4 Arctic thermal paste to lower the temperature and stabilize the mining process. The Arctic MX4 is used between the heatsink and the CPU itself. Before I started NiceHash, I enabled large page support on Windows. This actually helps the mining process for Monero to be a lot smoother and faster, so you're getting higher hash rate. I will leave in the description a list of instructions how to do so. Once this is done, we can go ahead and set up the nice hash. I'm using the nice hash legacy. It just works much better than the new one, the nice hash 2. Here is the hash rate. It's 744 hashes. That's actually very, very high compared to the 1700X that I reviewed before. It's almost double, but the price is 300 something bucks, which is almost the same price. As you can see, it makes about 93 cents a day, which means that in less than a year, you'll be able to pay back this CPU. This is actually very good, and even a 1060 makes less than that. Here is power consumption before we start mining. I do have a few devices there, like video cards, so I'm not going to use this as the power consumption. Now we're going to start the mining and then deduct it from the 55 minimum wattage that my system takes. So now the system takes 132 watts total. So deducted by 55, that's 77 watts per hour. That's actually very low. That's lower than a 1060 and lower than many, many other devices. So this is definitely an efficient miner. This CPU at the current rate makes about $360 to $300 per year or about 30 bucks per month. If you calculate the electricity is about 77 watts consumption to run this CPU. It's actually lower than some video cards that I've seen, so that's actually not bad. So the monthly cost to run this thing 24-7 in my area, which is 20 cents per kilowatt, which is a lot, it's only about $11 per month. So you're still pocketing 20 bucks or so per month through pocket. So yeah, it might take more than a year to make profit. It works on the 12 nanometer technology and it's a little faster than 17X but I did notice that it mines a lot more than the 1700X. I remember the 1700X maybe mined 450 hashes, but the 2700X mines about 745. So you can see that it's a lot more, it's like almost double for almost the same price. So you can find this thing on Amazon and on BitcoinMerch.com, I'll leave a link below. And don't forget if you wanna see a full review of this, CPU for gaming and mining and stuff also check the link below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet and like this video if you liked it leave in the comment below what do you think about this CPU and what do you think about CPU mining in general are you doing CPU mining do you think it's something that is actually profitable I would like to know I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye